I guess my definition of creativity is seeing associations that other people don't see, being able to combine different elements into unexpected combinations. And so there are different levels of that. You can have conceptual creativity, which I personally think I have, but then you can have executional creativity, which perhaps I don't have as much, which is why I'm not a creative person uh, or on the creative side of the advertising business. Unexpected combinations, regardless of whether they are humorous or whether they are uh, simply outside what you expect, you know, is in fact creative. I don't know whether there is a true new idea out there. Maybe there is mold-breaking innovation, but that comes along once in a blue moon, and it's a pretty high standard for creativity. But I think unexpected juxtaposition is creative. I think you can sharpen a creative skill, but I don't think that people who necessarily aren't lateral juxtapositionists, you know, can, uh, or conceptualizers, can grow into it. I, I tend to think that people intellectually fall into either the linear or systematic thinkers or the lateral conceptualizers, and most creative people are from the, the latter. I think that it's a tough thing to say that different cultures are more creative than other cultures. I will say, however, that in working with China, I've been impressed by the fact that Chinese are both linear and analytic and conceptual. And I think that creativity is liberated by culture, but people can be creative from any culture. I think that creativity is ultimately about the courage to challenge convention. In certain cultures, uh, particularly Western cultures, that comes up much more easily.